What's up everyone, my name's Mr. Zegglesworth, and welcome to my first episode here on Core X. I'm trying to make a good first impression here, so I'm dressed in my finest and I hope you all appreciate it. Now let's go punch some trees. So I've been allocated a piece of land here and I've spent a few days clearing all the trees and doing a bit of terraforming, and then clearing some more trees and doing some more terraforming. I was looking to just kind of get a smooth kind of rolling hill. I don't really like building on flat land, but I wanted to get a smoother transition in the heights of the area before we start our first building. So once we've made the terrain as boring as possible, I spent a few days gathering some materials to try and get started on this first building. I don't really practice my buildings in creative mode, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to take the materials that I've got available to me and I'm just going to make something on the fly. Hopefully it turns out nice. And it's probably going to be a lot of cuts and edits in it. I've never used a replay mod before, so this is kind of a practice for that as well. But basically I just need a simple house with some storage in it to move myself out of the hole in the ground that I'm currently living in. So we can move on to build something a lot more interesting on this little island over here. We're going to aim for something medieval fantasy, I've never built in the medieval style before but hopefully we can pull something off, I've seen plenty of medieval buildings and medieval fantasy buildings before so we can see what we come up with. So I'm just laying out a basic shape here, trying to get some detail into it, a little bit of interest in the pieces that I'm using, just to stop it being a boring cobblestone wall. I made some really bad choices as I was building this, I started using uh, acacia wood to build my walls and I don't know, it turned out okay in the end, you'll see that. But I don't have a lot of materials available to me at this point in the game. I have access to bone meal and I've got some acacia saplings, so that's why I'm using acacia wood here. Anyway, let's enjoy this time lapse. So I was halfway through building this when Brad pops over and he says to me, Zeg, we really need to get you some wings. I said, I know I need some wings. He said, well, it just so happens that I'm selling wings for 15 diamonds each. But because he's my boy, he said, I'll do you a deal. If you give me 12 diamonds, I'll give you a set of elytra and a couple of stacks of rockets. So now we have wings. Of course, having wings gives you quicker access to a lot more blocks. So what I did is I made the massive mistake of going out to the Badlands and collecting a load of terracotta. So I started using white terracotta in this build. I like the texture and the color of white terracotta. I find it very hard to match it with any of the other whites in the game, just to add a bit of textures to the wall. Uh, I mentioned this to Brad and he said he accepted the challenge and he said he was going to see if he could find something to match up. I had this idea that I wanted the, the building to really get taller and taller as it goes up. Um, so I went for this really steep angled roof. It took me a while to get the curve right on it, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's, it's a very colorful roof. Obviously I didn't want it all to just be made of super bright wool. I was gonna remove some of the wool and replace it with terracotta anyway, but I ran out of wool. It forced that change earlier than I was expecting. So I ended up swapping out blocks and it made the process a lot longer. There's probably a lot of things I could add to the roof and adjustments I could make, but I'm quite happy with how it turned out. So we're just going to leave it how it is for now. So this first video is really just to introduce myself, show you guys the first thing that I'm building, get a bit of practice with the replay mod and recording on my own. I'm not used to doing that and now they record with uh, Wolf 2K. But I'm really looking forward to my next build and I think that'll be something a lot more interesting. Anyway, I was getting close to the end of building this and Brad and uh, Beyonder came over and asked me if I'd like to join them in a wither fight. So we'll take a look at the wither fight and at the end of the video, I'll show you the finished version of this building. So stick around for that. But uh, before before I started recording, uh, it was confirmed to me that Bradley here has never fought a wither, apparently. That's not true. What I actually said is confession time. I have never fought the wither without just cheesing it in bedrock. Mm. Well, that, I mean, would you call it? Would, okay. Let's say like, you're walking down the street. Do you call it a fight? If you find some like random dude, like some random little kid, <laughs> throw a bag over his head and just start beating the shit out of him. Oh I don't yeah, that's a, a fight. fight. I beat bad. the shit out of him. Dude. That's <laughs> 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 it fucking counts, dude. What? <laughs> It's not all fun. He's, he's just sitting there. Like, like, this little bastard just got the, the bag thrown over his head and you started beating him. You know, that's you know what, what you're doing to you the wither. That's not a fight. What matters is I win the fucking fight. Oh, no, you definitely won that fight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
I like a bag over the head, but it, you, it sounds like <laughs> it sounds like you are looking for a uh, a fair fight. Mm. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, we might as well just make sure you can do it without the bag in case you're ever walking down the street and you don't have a bag. You know, I always, you know, I I always bag. carry a sack, brother. Always carrying a sack. Well, I, I don't figure you'd want to take that one off and throw it over someone's head. <laughs> I mean, it stretches far enough. <laughs> I mean, whatever works for you. It sounds like it hurt a little bit. Might itch the next day, but you know, whatever. <laughs> might feel good. You know, you never know. <laughs> yeah, I can't say I'm gonna try. All right, so it sounds like we're going to fight the weather, and uh, we've also invited Zeg to join us. Yeah. Yeah, sure, nothing could go wrong here. So where should we go as, like, a... Well, aren't we supposed to, like... Are you, oh, wait, all right, wait, hold up. Let me back up. Are we also not, like, cheesing in a tubble? Yeah, they're in a tubble. Jesus Christ, I can't yeah, talk. A tubble. A tubble. Are we cheesing it in a tunnel? No. I mean, maybe I'd like to keep it, like, somewhat open. Mm. Okay. I mean, we could do it in like a cave, but not like just a tiny hole underground. Yeah. And you don't want to do it like in the overworld and just blow up the landscape or anything, I guess. I mean, we could if we went far away enough, but I think this is probably a terrible area to do that. Yeah. This. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, def- definitely wasn't recommending this. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You're the guy. You're the guy who hasn't done it we'll, before. We'll, so we'll just summon it inside Zeg's house. <laughs> <laughs> then you just got yeah. done finished building. <laughs> yeah. I it think looks gorgeous, by the way. It, that it does. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all right. Well, if I was voting, and this is a three man endeavor, so I would say my vote is fight them in the open and we'll just go somewhere kind of remote. What right, do you think? I'm not that. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine with me. I'm going to leave these leaves in your uh, chest. Yeah, man. You know, heaven forbid the wither blows me up and we lose the leaves. Yeah, you don't need that. <laughs> Not the leaves. The netherite gear, we, we don't give a shit about that, but the leaves, man. The leaves we got to protect with our lives. So I think, like, right in this ballpark, or maybe we could do it on that frozen river back here. Eh, frozen river. That'd be atmospheric. It's you with the big words tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> atmospheric. All right. I don't know if this is a good idea or a, sm- or a bad idea. Doing oh, it I, I don't know either. It's... It's a terrible idea, but I'll, I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that's fun, isn't it? God, this is going to be so stupid. I should start recording again. I guess you could ret- retreat under the uh, under the ice. You probably should start recording. Yeah, it's like, if you want if you want to record this, I would recommend it because shit's going to go down. You know what? The shield, that's a good idea. Yeah, I'm recording. Yeah, I was thinking. What, what kind of shield you got? Then, uh, oh, just plain old wood shield? Well, it's better than yours, isn't it? I'm from I'm from America. America. <laughs> uh, I I just uh, resist death. America right, shield. Let's go. I'm just going to go over here. Oh, shit. Oh, we all got the advancement. Okay. This is such a bad idea. Why am I so close and y'all are so yeah, far Yeah, why away? are you standing like that? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, God. That's a big this... hole. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This is stupid, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's stupid. This oh my god, I'm in the water, dude. Yeah, why did we do this on the lake? This is the absolute stupidest thing we could have done. <laughs> it's not <laughs> difficult, it's just annoying. Oh, I got, hit. So got another hit. We're just putting potholes in the ice. And once he gets down to half health, we have to uh, beat him to death manually. Oh god. Alright, I'm, I'm withered. Where's he at? Dude, he's right on my ass. Get off my yeah, ass, Yeah, he like, bro. locks onto you and... It's honestly weird. How much wither do I have left? Jesus. And I'm still withering. The That's wither ridiculous. seems, yeah. Ah, Jesus. Oh, shit. The wither seems to be lasting a strange amount of time. Yeah, really, dude. I might die. Dude, I'm down to four hearts. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. He's going high. Fuck. How do I still have 10 seconds of this left? Yeah, that's the problem. You just keep taking damage. I'm going to try to stay in the air, I think. Well, the problem is he likes to get the high ground, so you end up just going up. Why is he like... He, yeah, I feel like he's just stuck on me. <laughs> Look at the ice. That's because we're smart, dude. Really smart. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. 
I can't even. All right, I gotta get up in the air. Hey, yeah, let, let him come down a bit. Give him a minute and let him come back down. Because otherwise he'll get too high and we won't find another star. Dude, there's like pit holes and ice everywhere. I know. Someone's gonna come out here and wonder what the hell happened. Are you bringing him down or what? Oh, I'm trying. Damn, he's so fucking high, dude. Yeah, he's just they, they regenerating just, all his health. They just they like to go up. That's the problem Once with here. them. Honestly, just give him a minute up there. I think he'll like naturally fall. Oh, they had to be close. And Ugh. then we can also. Oh my god. Oh, so close. Me. Oh, he's shooting at me. He's just nuking me from up there. <laughs> well, at least might get some free wood. Let him blow up the trees. Yeah, spruce. Oh, he can't see me now. Since you hadn't built a wood farm yet. <laughs> oh, so close. Is he going down? He's slowly going down. Very slowly. Dude, worst weather fight ever. Yeah, I thought this was <laughs> supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> I know, we'll, we'll appreciate uh, the fact that they have... Oh, he's coming down. He's coming down. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Don't, when you hit him, he like, gets agitated and goes... Great, I just hit him. Okay, and he's, coming, he's, he's coming at me, so I'll just jump around. I mean, his house almost back to full. <laughs> yeah, this sucks, yeah we, we, have, we have to find another wither now. <laughs> yeah, we could choose the next one. Well, I mean, yeah. I have three more. Oh, there's the blue skull. That's the one that withers you, right? I think, yeah, maybe. Yeah, that, that's the one. I don't know the black ones do, too. I just got nailed by one and have withered. What's the blue one do? Is it explosive? They're okay. all explosive, but the blue one is the one that can break, like, obsidian. So it's more explosive. All right, look, oh. I got his attention. I see that. Uh, uh, congratulations. You guys can fire at him. I mean, he's he's really on my ass. You cannot seem to hit him. All right, look, I'm going to go to a straight line. Hmm. Yeah, go in a straight line. All right, I'm gonna come back to you. Here he comes. Shoot him. Shoot him. I cannot hit him. Shoot him. What the fucking fuck? He is like really not leaving me alone. Y'all ever watch like dog racing? <laughs> not really. <laughs> no, no. I'm the, I'm the little white rag. <laughs> Does he not use rabbits anymore? Wow, he really hates you. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, I'm I've fallen in the water. Uh, That's all right. He's after me, I think, still, huh? Yonder's Yonder's dead. I've fallen in the ice. He's fallen and he can't get up. Oh damn! Oh, Zeg hit me. Did uh, I hit you? Dude, the ice. It's like one of those games where, like the floor disappears beneath you. Like the there's floor slowly lava, more and really more ice. water and less and less ice. Well, he's so fixated on you. I might just try to dogfight him. This was the stupidest thing we could have ever done. Yeah. But I like it. It's fun. I mean, it's very fitting for all three of us. The wither lasts an obnoxiously long, long time. Like the health. I mean, the effect. Yeah, he does. Yeah, definitely. Oh, damn. Well, I've got two arrows left. <laughs> oh, you need more arrows? No. Nah. I mean, that would have been maybe good to know before we started this thing. I'm happy to run out. Ah, uh, here. <laughs> Cheers, man. Oh, Jesus. Why am I the one doing this, and I'm the unexperienced one? Are you doing a great job? It's a hazing ritual, Brad. Oh, he's he's floating. He's uh, he's half. Oh, uh, nah. He's less than half. Or you know what I mean. Or I thought you knew what I mean. All right, I gotta damn. Ah, There's no way to even damn. stand, dude. <laughs> Fell in the damn water. Arrows I mean, does really damage mad at me. to him now. He is really mad at me. Yeah, what'd you do? Jesus Christ. I mean, I treated his sister night nice when I went out. It's because he's been chasing you for 20 minutes. Oh, God, dude. I'm about to die, dude. I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> oh, God. No, no, come back. You're the bait. <laughs> Somebody else is turned. I'm dying, dude. <laughs> <laughs> God, the wither effect lasts forever. Uh, it's going up. Yeah, I swear it did not always used to last that long. We're gonna have to aerial battle him. 
Yeah, it lasts like 36 to 40 seconds, like looking at the timer. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Damn it, he's getting his health back. All right, come on and get a swoop. Don't miss. Oh, God damn it. Dude, the ice. <laughs> yeah, the ice. <laughs> That's beautiful. We've uh, peppered it. Peppered it up a little bit. Where the hell did it go? Hello? Oh, what there? Oh, there you are. God damn it. He followed you. I was getting ready to hit him. I can't even. This is ridiculous. Got him. Come on, asshole. But now be a good time to mention that I only have two pork chops left. <laughs> Alright, I got 41 if you need me to throw you some. Ah, uh, should try to. I think we can get him down here. You son of a bitch. Stand more still, sir. <laughs> Bro, we're up at like over 300. Yeah. Like we're above build height. Do we have his last float? <laughs> This is so ridiculous. I can't even see the ground. Got a hit. Worst wither fight ever. I don't know we're not a rockets just trying to get up here. <laughs> Dude, we're up at 500. This oh, is yeah. Ridiculous. Oh, come on. I almost got him. I withered me. He's getting down there. Dude, we're at 600. <laughs> Get him that. Kill him before a thousand. That's the goal Fucking here. Hell, dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, one more, more hit. I'll do it. One more hit. One more hit. Oh, uh, how is he alive? What? Nice. There he went. Now we gotta find the star. I got it. I caught it in midair. Oh, yeah, nice. What a <laughs> hero. Go the lake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a, I got a wither head too, like the invulnerable one. Nice. Oh, nice. All right, guys, we got three more. I don't think the lake can take that much. Not like this. We don't. We need a better plan. <laughs> uh, yeah, I burned a good chunk of rockets during that. <laughs> this is a mess. That it is. Uh, but we got another star. Yeah. That's one beacon. Yeah. Correct. Uh, I'm going to need more rockets. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. God damn it. There's a cave in the top of this mountain here. We could try it in or we could just cheese the rest of them. How many have you got? Uh, I got three more. Hang on. I have an idea. I'm going to make art. Look into my eyes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, cold. Oh, my God. So I did stick around to fight another wither, we did it in a cave, and if you'd like to see that video, go over to Brad RadRx05's YouTube channel, and he'll be posting that at some point in the near future. Anyway, back to our build. So I'm just going to show you around this house now, and you can all let me know what you think of it. I built a nice little pond around the back, and after exploring some caves, I found an axolotl, which uh, is now living in the pond. I'm going to take a little look inside the house, it's really, really, uh, let's say, cosy downstairs. There's almost no room. So upstairs here, the main room, and I really like the feel of this room. It probably needs more decorations. I'm not great at decorating interiors, but I think I've done an okay job here. Uh, there's a little balcony out here. I've not done anything on that yet. This is actually functioning as my base right now, so obviously I do need a lot of storage and some other little things. So I made an attic room. Uh, with a load of chest inside there. So I've got a little automatic smelter set up and an automatic composter. Having a little look outside now and uh, Brad came over and planted a bunch of birch trees everywhere. He chopped most of them down after I complained to him but then he decided to put a sign on one of them, strip the, the logs and now it's a gift so I can't really remove it but that's going to be staying here for the foreseeable future. And that right there is the reason you should probably tune in next episode because we've got something real interesting planned over there, I think. Well, that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching the video. I hope I see you next time. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the build. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Bye, man. Toodaloo.